Hey everyone, this is Craig with GottaBeMobile.com and I'm going to quickly show you how you can make your own iPhone wireless charger. It's really easy to do and it doesn't cost that much. So if you're really wanting to get into wireless charging, uh, especially since the iPhone doesn't have wireless charging built in, uh, this is a great way to go. You really just need a couple things for this to work. Uh, the most important piece of the puzzle is a wireless charging receiver and as you can see it has a lightning connector on there so you can plug it directly into your iPhone to instantly make it wireless charging compatible. The second thing you'll need is just any iPhone case. doesn't really matter what iPhone case, just anything that you have. Um, I had this one lying around so I'll just use this for now. And obviously you'll also need a charging pad um, that you set your phone on to charge it. So let's get started. Basically what I'll do is I'll take my receiver and I'll plug it in to my iPhone just like that and then this will just rest on the back of the phone and lie flat when I put my case on. Obviously if I didn't have a case it would move around and be really annoying. I suppose you could tape it on but it, that would look kind of tacky. So now I'm just going to put my case on doesn't really matter how you put it on or whatever just put it on there and there we go iPhone's good to go um, I guess one thing to keep in mind is that if you have a cutout on your case you'll most the the receiver will most likely show through right there uh, so you might want to get a case that doesn't have a cutout right there but in any case it'll work so what I'll do is I'll get my charging pad and it's already plugged in ready to go. The green LED right there means that it's ready. And I'll just put my iPhone on top and it will begin charging. And if obviously you can't see it but under there the charger the LED turned blue which means that it's charging. So it's charging now I can take it off and it'll stop charging. The LED will go back to green and that's really all there is to it. Um, as far as cost, the receiver itself was about $10 and uh, this charging pad from Utech, uh, just a generic charger, that was, that was about $12. So $22 to turn your iPhone or make your iPhone tr wireless charging compatible. Um, now if you want to go for the more DIY route, uh, you can get what's called a uh, printed circuit board assembly just sort of a bare bones wireless charger um, that you can put in your own container or box or whatever um, this was about twenty dollars which is a bit expensive but that's mostly because it's a three coil charger and that just means that there's a wider range uh, that it has so when you put your iPhone on it you can offset it a little bit and it'll still it'll still uh, recognize it whereas this charger right here is most likely a single coil so you have to be fairly accurate as far as how you put it on and where you put it on you can obviously get this cheaper as a single coil um, for about ten bucks um, I'll put all this info in the description and I'll put a link in there where you can learn more about how to make your own iPhone wireless charger thanks for watching